We have invited international scholars in this round. We have uh, scholars from South Africa. We have scholars from uh, Egypt. We are expecting scholars from uh, two Bible colleges in this country, namely St. Paul International College and Rado Faith Bible Center. We are expecting the sending a delegation to this meeting on behalf of the Christians. And on the Muslim side also we have invited guests and also we have our organizers and our hosts. But before we continue, I'd like to take this opportunity first of all to thank the Almighty Allah for giving us this news to take his message to the world. But before I forget, I'd like also to meet our brother, Sheikh Sanjim Beda, who works fearlessly day and night, and he will spend some sleepless nights to ensure that this event today, also, as we all know, or for some people as we know, our brothers at one time, early last year, were involved in a road accident, and we thank Allah because they have been, they have been reaching the target they are holding after the accident. So we take this meeting, our brother who was also at work, who actually passed away during the accident, he said that actually, as we get the Tawans in this meeting, may he also be rewarded by the Almighty Allah because and he died in the Shahi. See, our guests are arriving. Therefore, in any moment from now, we're going to start our meeting for today. And we are going, the topic of today will be, who is Jesus? That is the first topic. Who is Jesus? Now, for one year, both is who we know when we in the world, but that is all. So, we are leo, how so, we are going to leo, and so, we are going to leo, Yesu, Nidani. Kwa sababu wa islamu, wanaamini yesu alikuwa kwa islamu na alikuwa ni wezao. It's also the rules of this meeting. We make sure that you have gone around, spend sleepless nights to make sure that we are going to have this meeting in these grounds. As you heard, my name is Jared. And I must admit that I'm quite happy to be with you today to see such a big crowd of uh, my Muslim friends and uh, available to see some familiar faces here. I want to greet you all. Good afternoon. Thank you very much. I must say that it's a wonderful privilege, even a very rare one, that Christians and Muslims can come together in such a program like this from each other. Let me start by telling them here that the way I see this meeting today is a meeting whereby Christians and Muslims come together to learn from each other as brothers and sisters, as kings, as people who truly fear God, as people who truly would like to know more about God. It's a rare and a wonderful privilege. And I am praying that this shall not just be a one-off thing that in future we shall have such severe and bigger meetings, not only here in Nairobi, but also in other towns in Kenya, so that we can live together in harmony, but above all, seek to know God even better. Now, there are other Christians that are on the way coming, I know the one that is here, there are other Christians that are on the way coming, some of my friends and other invited guests, as they come, we shall be introducing them to you and making sure that uh, the host is aware or the master servant is aware. But today we will be here with my friend and colleague, uh, Pastor Charles Namwega. He is a very interesting to say one more time to seek to find out who 
in this business. Welcome, Charles. Thank you, the Master of Ceremony, Panjari, for the opportunity. And I would also want to thank you for the opportunity to greet all of you. Good afternoon. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Wa peace of God, the Father, the Lord, 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 the Lord. So, I'm also highly honored for this opportunity to thank the hosts of this meeting for having me invited us to come and share with you the same platform, at least to learn from one another on knowing Jesus Christ. Thank you so much. I don't have much to say because time is slow on our side. But otherwise, I want to tell you that I'm also very happy about the attendance. May God bless all of you and may we learn from one another. Thank you so much. Jos and me, I want to say something to you. I want to say something to you. Thank you. Assalamu alaikum wa islam. Wa ala sikia wa kristo. Amen. Santa Sana, I also have a friend from my colleague, I'm a student at Pokemon University, and I have a friend of mine who accompanied me, Brother Adam, I invite you to greet our brothers and sisters, the Muslims and the Christians. Just for a moment, come over, Brother Adam. As-salamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Christo, peace be upon you. Thank you so much. Brother Adam comes from the Highland of Sanzibar. So it's come from far. So we have many people who have come from far. At least to witness that Muslims and Christians can sit together and dialogue in a very peaceful and friendly way. As the Quran says in Surah Tumaya, verse 82. Thank you so much. May God bless you. Growth comes development. What used to be AC 
Digital Group is now International Dawa Resource Center. I think before the end of this meeting, we shall inform you why it's International Dawa Resource Center. We branch as a body in Kenya. Before the end of this meeting, we shall inform you and we shall give you details. But at the moment, I'd like to welcome our host, who is also the director, who will do the introduction of the speakers, the Muslim speakers that we have. Karim Sana Sheikh Salim Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah wa barakatuh. Wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa salam. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa ma'in. First and foremost, we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this opportunity. Secondly, peace and blessings of Allah be upon our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa salam. And today to me is a great day. As our brother Ibrahim Isaac said that you are involved in an accident. One of our brother passed away, Abdul Abdi, may Allah must be on him. We were with Sheikh Ibrahim Abdullah, who is here, inshallah, is going to greet you. He's one of our senior lecturers in comparative religion in Eastern Central Africa, mashallah, and he's well known, widely known, all over the world. He can watch his cassette in Universal TV, Cable TV, and other TVs. And we survived, Alhamdulillah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, he gave us a bonus for another second chance to accumulate what is good in this dunya and in the after. So we thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Because we are running out of time, I want to be short and precise. I would like to invite the Amir Dawa from Uganda to come and greet you, Chef Toha Sebuja, how we Chef Idris Toha Sebuja, move to Uganda, mashallah wa ta'ala. Where is the Chef? This, in 2009, when we were in South Africa, in Cape Town, to me is a scholar. And if you have not seen Ahmed in that life when he came here, 1995, then you will see someone representing Ahmed in that, Marhum Ahmed in that, Sheikh Yusuf Ismail. To me is a scholar today, I'm a student. Allah Akbar. So I would like to take this opportunity again. Sheikh Ibrahim Abdullah, who is our senior lecturer in comparative religion in East and Central Africa. For the last three months he was in Uganda, Burundi, Rwanda, and part of Eastern Congo. With our brother chairman, ex-pastor, normally calling expired pastor. He was the pastor in the world of life, I don't know, blah, blah, blah. He studied in Birmingham in International Bible God. Uh, school of he was in Birmingham for four years in UK. So, Abdullah, Ibrahim Abdullah, thank you, Yago, for sending us. I was speaking to you, Jesus, and I don't know what to do. MashaAllah, Allah, what to do? Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Kuma salatu wa salamu ala rasulillah wa ashabi ya jma'i ya Allah. Inshallah, wa salatu ni yungi kiswaili. Salatu kiswaili. Ya wa sisemi na tawiyu. Wa riya wa kuja wa kutufangia. Ma kwa injini. Kiyo kia wa kiyo kia kiswaili. Da kremuka mbaga kishikuto. Sasa. Kwa hivyo inshallah. Wa salatu wa shukuru wa kutu wa kutu wa kutu. Ini boleh dari yang lalu sih, dan alhamdulillah pada waktu ini malam kerja, ini pun nak pilih dia, kalau malam kerja kita kerja, kerja itu bawa mereka ke negeri ini, bawa bishi, bawa kerja bishi, sebab bawa si Islam, si si Islam, si si pun ada di dalam tempat malam malam, ada di dalam jinni, pasti Allah tak beri. Amal kita itu sah, kalau insya Allah kita itu kita, kita bawa kita beri insya Allah. Salam alaihi wasallam. Kebarakan. Tuhan beri akhir waktu itu ada di mata ini. Uh, 
Children's Foundation in Uganda, Alicesa Wisdom take this opportunity to introduce our guests, our main guest speakers, mashallah. Alhamdulillah, for the name of the Lord, 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 is none other than Sheikh Yusuf Ismail from South Africa. We have heard about Sheikh Ahmed Didat, the Allah who is with him, the late Ahmed Didat, and the lady we see him on so he much Allah, here we have him, one of his best students, and he is representing that organization which was founded by Sheikh Ahmed Didat, which is Islamic Propagation Center International, much Allah, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh, uh, Ayyubi Salaam, Salaam, just baby. Salaam alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, it's a privilege to be here in Kenya. I really appreciate all of you coming out in numbers. I'm gobsmacked because in my city of Durban, we don't have such an interest as I can see here this afternoon. MashaAllah. Takmeel! Yeah! Sports be great, MashaAllah. So, we had a lot of MashaAllah blessings and we made a lot of reviews from him and share it from him, MashaAllah. The idea will last for three days. Today, tomorrow, and Sunday. Secondly, it's none other than Sheikh Ihimiya Al-Muhandis, Sheikh Fahdu Sulaiman. He is the director of Bridges Foundation, which is an international organization doing Dawa all over the world and in America and in the West. And he and the, the best, it's, it's important in Egypt with the international offices. He is, secondly, he was, he spent a lot of time in the US and he did, he did a lot of work in the US and was also the Imam of the American University in Washington DC. Was the Imam over there for a long time, did a lot, did, did a lot of activities, mashallah. Second and uh, thirdly, he has authored, he has produced two of the best international documentaries which are delivering the information which uh, which declares Islam and speaks about peace and other things about as we shall see, which is the book is lifting, part one and part two. And we have an opportunity, we are going to get some copies here free, inshallah. Lastly, you all heard and you all watched what, what was happening in Egypt. Is that this? So a lot of things happened in Egypt, a lot of changes. So it's one of the people who played a, a great role in whatever you saw there. So we want you to be patient and wait and hear from him a lot of wonderful information and, and experience of what happened in Egypt. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. I came here directly from Al Tahrir Square. Where you see when some uh, when a group of Muslims want to pray, a group of Christians hold hands to protect them while praying from the crowds. When a Muslim wanted to do ablution, a Christian is pouring for him the water. When the Christians wanted to pray on Sunday, and we were speaking about two million people in a square. So it's, if you if you want to pray, it's really dangerous. It's very crowded. Some people can, can be stepping on you. So Muslims were holding hands together to protect them. And when I saw those scenes in the Tahrir Square, I understood that the revolution will succeed. The revolution will be victorious over the world. And I decided not to participate in any activity, any interfaith activity, unless it is in a friendly atmosphere. Because you have the right to believe in whatever you want, and I have the right to believe in whatever I want. But none of us have the right to judge the other. Thank you very much, and see you again, Shalom. Waiting for more, the sound was still on the way. And also we are expecting 
delegation to two in the Elam Bible College in Kenya, the Education Delegation from St. Paul's Theological College, and another delegation from World of Faith Bible Center. Now, we want to embark back, I want to go back to our program which I have on my hand here. We are going to start our dialogue today. And the first side that we will be speaking will be the Christian side. Then we shall have from the Muslim side. Just for your information, we shall have 30 minutes for each speaker. We shall have 30 minutes for each speaker that we will be studying for the Christian side and for the Muslim side. Then after that, just before, the first one will be actually at the Christian speaker, we will speak for 30 minutes. I want to welcome you to greet the people. You know, we Muslims, the Muslims are married. And also, it's best in South Africa, although his citizenship is uh, from DRC Congo. But he's best in South Africa and he's a pastor. He has come also to lift the flag of Christianity high and therefore give him an opportunity to greet the people. Thank you very much and uh, Salam Alaikum. Shalom Alaikum. We God bless you. Uh, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I came since three weeks ago and uh, we have had dialogues with my brothers from many places with uh, my brother Muslims to show I think it will be the same topic as it was today. So I'm very happy to be here. I greet you a good day, hoping that uh, the night will be given to each and every one of Okay, God bless you too. Now because of time, the rest of the people that I'm going to introduce, it's not that I'm being unfair to them. It's only that time is not on our side. We need to embark on what actually brought us to this ground. So you have actually to come with me or bear with me as I just ask them the majority. Anybody else I'm going to introduce after now. We just have to wait because there are a lot of people we have to if you want to introduce all of them, then the first day will go on the introduction only. So you have to bear with me. We also have Pastor David Mfonga who comes from the Democratic Republic of Congo and also based in South Africa. You can just stand up and go to the people. Welcome. And then we also have another pastor who is Pastor Moses. Pastor Peter Moses. He is a pastor from Kenya. He is one of us here in Kenya. Can you be sana Pastor Moses? And uh, we have many other people that I would like to introduce. Salim Salamia, to a very poet for Gitambo. And also our brother there, Abu Matam, who is going to just be the people are an upcoming who are going to be sound sound. Now we are going directly to the pastor's side. The people are listening and the people are watching.